Okay, so we got the one wire hooked up here. This is basically the 12 volt, volt feed to the motor. And uh, then we got these three other wires. We got a light blue, uh, light blue with a black stripe, uh, dark blue, and then white with black stripes. So you remember I had a little tag on here that showed me which page on my uh, technical manual it's on. And I'm on that page. You can see here it says 70, or 67 through 76. And, and my truck is a 77 according to the uh, VIN number and the title. But these are the colors that match with what's on my truck. And I can show you here, they got this. This is 89 and later. Uh, I know that's not it. And then one page back, 77 through 87. Well, my co my wires are not this color at all. So uh, this is my setup right here. And down here I made some notes and uh, I'll go show you where I got those. All right, those notes I made from my tech manual, uh, I got here from my original wiring harness. So I went on the, uh, the engine side of the wiring harness. These four wires right here uh, go to my uh, wiper motor. I corresponded that with the inside of that bulkhead on this side, just how it plugs in and counted where the positions are. And then I got three wires on this side. So I know, because the, the wires inside of the truck are just a little bit different uh, in particular this one, see this one's mostly black with a white stripe, and this one here on the engine side is mostly white with a black stripe, but these two go together. And then the dark blue and the light blue go together. This one on the engine side is dark blue with a black stripe. Uh, on the inside of the truck it's just light blue. And then we got dark blue and dark blue. And then this yellow and black wire, that's our 12 volt source. I can trace that out here on the inside of the wire which starts right down in there and I can trace out that wire over here to the actual fuse panel and it connects right there now the writing on my fuse panel it connects in right here the writing here is uh, uh, it's, it's faded so I can't read it so it doesn't really matter because now I know which wires go to which. So now all I, get, all I have to do is uh, splice them together. And one thing I forgot to mention, uh, don't throw away your factory wiring harness just yet. Hang on to it till the bitter end, until you've uh, tested everything on the truck and make sure that everything works. Then you can go ahead and throw this in the garbage. Uh, but hang on to it throughout the whole project because this isn't the first time that I've had to come and, and, and double check uh, my wire placement so uh, just hang on to it uh, in case you need it all right I got the wiring motor all hooked up just uh, used uh, some heat shrinkable butt splices here the colors here don't match um, the colors on here I had to lengthen the wires so I just used what I had laying around this white one's obviously the one the power wire that comes out of the uh, kit uh, but these three over here uh, this one matches dark blue to dark blue uh, but the other ones uh, don't. And it, it's not necessary. I'll make some notes, some sort of uh, footnotes in the, uh, in the wiring diagram that I'll keep with this truck in case I ever sell it. But yeah, right down there I had to uh, add in some, uh, uh, some extra length of wire. So uh, everything's all hooked up and uh, hopefully pretty soon I'll uh, get my battery back in and I can uh, test everything.